hey guys and welcome back to my channel i am the todd i am and we are back in cathedral court zoo um today on this episode we are just basically decorating and adding to the interiors of these side buildings to our cathedral plaza uh, so now with these particular shops and restaurants um, I'm not doing a lot of high detailing. I'm just putting in a few bits and pieces to where it would be a believable interior where there's ATMs, trash cans, benches, tables, things of this sort. Um, a few decorative places to where we, you know, you know what you're walking into, whether it's the, you know, buying a milkshake, buying a souvenir, buying a hat juice, things of that sort. Um, and a few of them I do put in um, some shelves, little little decorative elements here and there, uh, just to make it look a little bit different than just a boring little interior of a building. Um, of course, it's not necessary whatsoever to do this, um, but I just, felt, I just felt that I just wanted to do something a little bit extra um, just to make these in interiors look semi-normal if you will uh, mostly for the fact that when you're in the plaza you actually look through these windows you're not just looking at a blank shell an empty room with just a little shop inside um, I, I may do a little bit of tweaking here and there as different ideas or different thoughts come to me um, but for what I did I, I like what I did um, it's very minimal um, and somewhat basic I mean I've changed a few colors here and there I spent more time on the outside of these these two plaza buildings um, I don't know if there is there a name for these particular buildings is it where I'm from in the US we would call them like a shopping center where you just have this outdoor area you have different retail outlets you'd have different stores cafes restaurants where all the entrances to these places are on the outside um, if there's a specific name for them over in Europe in these little courtyard plaza type areas I'd love to know what it is because frankly I, I really don't know if there is a specific name for these 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 buildings that house um, there's a retail areas and restaurants and cafes and whatnot um so if there's if there's one throw that thing down there in the comments i'd like to i'd like to le learn i'd like to know um but otherwise this this video is it's not a very very long video um it's not a whole lot to be said um uh, i'm probably going to leave most of this voiceover right about here let you watch this i will jump on towards the end of it um I did spend a little extra time on one specific, um, we'll call it a restaurant. It's the coffee shop. Um, and I, I am a huge, huge fan of the TV show Friends. And so I did what I could to make the coffee shop resemble what Central Perk is like in that TV show. Um, with a few other little little bits and pieces that I added to the inside of that coffee shop. So um, I'm just going to leave this here. I will have um, another speed build coming out next week. Um, I, I haven't decided if I'm going to do the inside of the cathedral yet or if I'm going to continue on with the back side of it going more into the actual entrance to the zoo itself. Um, so I don't know where, where I'm going to go with that. I, I don't know if I want to do two interior decorative builds in a row. Um, so I may wait until the following week to do that and to start building on to the back side of the cathedral building and really start, start designing the entrance to, to this zoo. Um, I'm still acquiring animals here and there trying to find the highest rated ones that I can um, 
I, I've got several, several already in the Trade Center. Like I said previously, I'm still adding more to it. Different ideas are coming to me as this zoo is progressing. And I'm really excited to, to, to show you all where it goes. Um, I hope it, it develops and I hope it, it really turns out the way I have it in my head and the way I've sketched it out. Um, it's, it's pushing me up beyond the boundaries of what I've, I've done in the past as far as building goes. Um, I'm really trying to do just when justice. It's not just random ideas that I have thrown about. Um, I really, I really have a certain direction I want this to go and I, I want it to, to, to come to fruition. I really want it to, to, uh, to really show out and hopefully be even better than, uh, um, than what I have in my head. So anyway, I'm going to leave you here for a little while. Um, stick around towards the end of it, the last, I don't know, maybe minute or so of the speed build. And, um, um, probably if you hit, if you hit a few touches, cause I do go to the inside of the Central Park Cafe that I've, I've put together for, for the, for this plaza. Um, so anyway, stay, stick around, enjoy the speed build. I hope you like what I've done. Um, and as always leave some comments down at the bottom. Um, let me know what you think. If I've done something that looks ridiculous, say it, let me know. Tell me about it. I will look into it. And if I say, you know what? You're absolutely right. I will be more than happy to correct it. If you like what you see, let me know that too. Let me know that um, I'm going in the right direction here. Um, so anyway, I love you here and enjoy the rest of the build.
Hey guys, so we're back with just a live little quick thing here, a real time. Um, just wanted to show you my central perk, a little coffee shop here. Um, and thanks to the custom billboards, this was um, so easy to make this logo right above the, uh, the door here. Uh, obviously within the show, if you watch it, the logo is on the window. That wasn't going to happen, so... I thought my own little spin on it. I liked the way this turned out. So thank you, Frontier, for those custom billboards. That's fantastic. So let's go ahead and go on in. Um, sorry, so coming in here. So we do have our coffee shop right here. So as you can see, that's clearly not like the Central Park looks like within the show. But I do have a few inspirations, a few things here and there that will definitely show you that this is what the show is all about. Um, so... As you walk in, obviously you get your coffee shop here, the marble countertop, everything is brick on the inside. Um, coming over here, obviously, to the famous sitting area, the famous orange couch. Um, chair didn't really work out quite like I wanted it to, but for a placeholder and a non-usable chair, I think it is just fine. Um, Obviously, the two extra chairs over here with a little round coffee table that they've always used. Um, one, th hello, uh, sorry about that. One thing that I did like the custom billboard also, I was able to put the same logo above the coffee shop there, and then I I love this. I love this silhouette. Um, again, if you're fans of the show, you know at the very end of the intro for the show, they're all sitting on this couch in front of this big large fountain, and at the very tail end of that, there is a lamp that uh, Monica is the one that turns off. And so I found this silhouette that worked out really well, framed it up, and it just looks like a photo on the on the wall there. Um, I took the uh, these little banners here, changed them into the blue, red, and yellow, uh, the famous colors of the dots there. And then what I did here was just a little art piece if you will um so this is just going to represent the seven letters in the friends logo itself um and then obviously the colored dots that goes in between them i didn't want to put the actual letters up there i didn't want it to say friends i just want it to be um <clears throat> just a representation of the show and just how much of a fan i am of this show so i hope y'all like this um if you do like the show you'll fully understand the meaning behind um the white dots here with the colored ones in between i gotta tell you when i was doing the color pattern on this um i frankly was not 100 certain the actual order in which the color should go so when i looked it up online you'd be surprised how many different variations there actually are that are i they're completely and absolutely 100 incorrect um so then it finally occurred to me after about 10 to 12 minutes of searching that I own the DVDs, just go look at the box, and that's what I did, and so I am confident that I have that color pattern in order as it's supposed to be. Um, big blank wall here, I was going to try to do something here, but I couldn't find enough um, different thing I was going to try to do. Um, a lobster, a turkey, Hugsy, um, a few other things just to kind of represent the characters didn't find the ones I wanted, so I was like, if I can't do them all, I'm not doing them at all. Um, so it's just going to stay a blank wall for now. I may find something else to put on there later on, but as for now, I'm okay with the way it looks. Um, so anyhow, I just wanted to do a real-time little quick tour of my central perk um, here at Cathedral Court Zoo. Um, I hope you enjoyed the speed build i hope you enjoy what i did with all the cafes the shops the restaurants things of that sort um as always thank you so much for stopping by and watching thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch what i have built i am really proud of how this zoo has turned out um just for the entrance i'm, I'm actually excited about the direction i'm heading with this um anyway if you like what you saw, hit that like button. If you want to see more and be notified when it shows up, hit that subscribe button so you know. Um, if you don't already know, every Thursday uh, morning, 
these will be, well, I guess Thursday morning, central U.S. time. That's when my videos will post. But if you're in a different time zone, you're not going to know until you hit that subscribe button. So hit that subscribe button. It also does help me um, grow and make this channel better. Um, everything that you have done so far is appreciated. Your time spent is greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, a little bit of small cinematics here at the end. Stick around. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye.